Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy and today I wanted to film a mid-year favorites. I actually filmed this before. Um, after I filmed that previous video, what was it again? It was the LASIK experience in Korea. I filmed this video afterwards, but I didn't realize I had like lipstick all over my teeth, so I wanted to refilm it. Anyways, this is just the day in the life. Anyways, I have so many mishaps every time I film something. I feel like I always have to refilm or do something else again. Anyways, let's just get on into the video. So again, I did this last year. I'll link it right here. This is like a mid-year fave for it because I always promise that I will film monthly favorite videos, but I never do. So this is why I'm just going to do like a mid-year. It's July now, so it's past half the year but I'm still gonna film this anyways I'm just gonna talk about my blenders for a second here I was gonna film an unboxing for happy ending stuff from 17 but um, a couple of items still haven't arrived so I have to figure that out first before I even film that so anyways I just need to take a deep breath just calm down and then I'll get into this video because this is a mid-year favorites there's no particular order I'm gonna go through like what's my favorite blah 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 I'm just gonna go through stuff that I've been liking up till now like up to this point up to like end of June which is the mid-year point um, so I'm gonna start off with this so this is the skincare favorite this is from Melvita this is a rose water. It's a hydrating rose water. It says it is damask rose floral water. And um, this is from France. Michelle got this uh, for me while she was in Paris. Um, so basically it's like toner water or you can use it like almost like an essence. Um, but I use it kind of like a toner and sometimes I just put some on the palm of my hand as well and just pat into my skin after I've toned it with the cotton sheet. I love the smell of like florals, um, but particularly rose. This, this scent is so nice. It To me, this smells more like lychee or lychee than rose, which it smells appetizing as well. But yeah, it's been really good for the skin, super hydrating and also helps to tone the skin. So I've been liking this. I'm gonna jump back and forth between beauty and random favorites and everything. Um, but the next two favorites I have here, this is the tip concealer from The Sim. You guys have probably seen these um, talked about before on YouTube, but these ones are super super cheap concealers from the Sim. Um, I have it in the shade 1 and 1.25. I use one right underneath my eyes and I use 1.25 for the rest of my face So when I'm covering any blemishes or anything like that or if I need to like mm, How do you say it just match my skin tone? So that's when I use 1.25 because this is a slightly good match it's like yellowy toned which is good for me and this one is more brightening underneath the eyes so that's why i use these two um i really like these ones because it's cheap obviously um but also the coverage is decent i would say i'm wearing it right now i'm only wearing concealer and a little bit of powder and you can't really tell that i'm not wearing foundation thankfully my skin right now isn't like bad anymore like when i was a teenager i had lots of breakouts and discoloration and stuff like that but as i've gotten older um and my skin has normalized and my skin routine has gotten a little bit more concise and everything um i don't need as much coverage so i just use a little bit of concealer on my face and powder up and yeah that's about it sometimes i do use this with like a little bit of foundation which makes me use a little bit less of this stuff but it's still great nonetheless so since i am jumping back and forth from like different types of products that are my favorite for this year um this one right here is the power shot g7x from canon um so if you guys have watched any of my vlogs in korea and stuff like that um i was filming with this so i brought it with me on two trips now so the korea taiwan trip and then i brought this with me to bc as well so this one is a typical vlogging camera you guys have probably seen it a lot of youtubers like to use this it is a point and shoot camera so i'm gonna turn it on hold up so basically it has a zoom in and out lens so non-removable lens um but it does have a mirror not mirror sorry so it does have a swivel screen right here for you to see in all angles especially when you're outside it's really nice or if you're vlogging you can literally just flip it this way and then you can vlog um but it's super nice it is a touch screen i would say this is like a decently priced camera as well i did get this off of amazon i'm not too sure 
what the price is like elsewhere but this is in canadian dollars around 700 650 to 750 i can't remember the price range but it is a pretty good camera it is quite compact and it fits in most of my bags so i really like this um it the only thing is it doesn't film in 4k i mean if you really need to film in 4k then i guess this camera isn't for you but it does film in 1080p which i think is great enough for the average person um if you are planning on vlogging anyways i think if you have like a camera on your phone that's decent quality that's good enough as well or you can stabilize it but when i was filming with this um on my trips i kind of just gave up on the tripod hold up so I brought, I have this, which is great, the Manfrotto. Um, you can attach this to vlog or I had another, where was it? I don't remember. It was another camera stand. Um, but I brought that with me to Korea and Taiwan. I only use that sometimes. I didn't use, oh, sorry, there's dust. I didn't use it all the time. Um, I just mainly just did the handheld. As long as you have long enough arms, um, then it's fine to just do it alone. But if you really want that wa more wide view lens and angle, then I would recommend you getting like, an actual like not selfie stick but like a tripod which you can extend the the length of your arm basically but yeah highly recommend if you guys are wondering what camera i do write in my description box which cameras i use so right now i'm filming with the lumix g7 and this one right here is a g7x from canon um so yeah i always list whatever i've used down in the description if you have any questions just let me know so my next favorite right here is the industry skinny volume cutter and you guys have probably seen this on my channel lots before whenever i film some makeup tutorials you guys might see this i particularly love this one because it is tiny and super skinny so it's great for really short lashes um, especially my Asian lashes are very short and thin and stuff like that and they're stick straight But this right here gets into the grooves very very well. It's super tiny um, It is slightly volumizing not super lengthening, but if you like the very like natural I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm like I have on right now. It's just super natural looking um, If you wanted voluming volumizing lengthening Like and like making your eyelashes look like the like spidery these this won't be for you but if this is perfect actually for the lower lash line because it like can reach it actually because you know how if you take like these mascaras like the regular mascaras with the big wands um you can smudge on your lids really easily but this guy right here is perfect i know and it's free does have like like the many different versions of this but i really like the volume cutter and my next favorite for the mid-year favorites is this guy right here this is the shot tilbury i swear i've talked about some of these guys in like my january so the beginning of the year this is still my favorite so it goes to show that i still really like this product many months later but this guy right here is the charlotte tilbury what's it called again the airbrush flawless finish powder um so basically it's a setting powder it is kind of translucent but it is slightly colored as well so they have three different shades i talked about this already in my january favorites um i will link it here if you guys want to see that but i've already hit pan so that's why i have a backup right here um it, this is not a cheap powder but it honestly makes your skin feel like so smooth and set and it's super lovely so that's why i highly recommend it i'm just putting it back because i don't want to destroy it um a little does go a long way with this product i know that this powder is like 60 bucks but like you don't have to technically use that this is just one of my favorites i like to use it because it's nice and compact and also it's like super smooth but like if you you're looking for a budget alternative i honestly think if you don't mind loose powders airspun by cody this guy's amazing as well and i'm gonna jump to a phone favorite i hope you guys can see the screen hold up so this is a phone favorite um so this app is made to this is an og kind of like photo editing app i really like it i still use it to this day and lately if you guys have seen my instagram feed and stuff i've been using this to filter my photos um you can use it to edit and beautify. I only use the edit option and basically I'm gonna just grab a random picture. Hold up. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a picture of this cat from a cat cafe and I'm gonna turn up the brightness. So usually I go into filters and then they have a lot of like super pretty filters and stuff like that. The ones I like to use are under sparkling water. Sparkling water series, I really like these ones. They're super pretty. And I also really like this one as well. I can't remember what's this one called again. Classy. Classy is also another one I really like. Just for filters. It just makes your photos look 
a little bit more like bright and alive and vivid but also kind of moody for some of them so really like yeah classy and sparkling water those are definitely one of my favorites so yeah if you guys are wondering how i've been editing my photos lately um i know i used to use visco a lot but lately i haven't been using visco i'm not into it anymore you know how you have phases with like photo editing apps I'm not into Visco anymore. I still have it on my phone. It's like literally number one photo editing app on my phone, but I just don't go towards it now. So I do have four lip products right here, which were my favorites so far. Um, these are basically just lip products I was gravitating towards for the first half of this year. Um, no particular order. I do use lots of lip products and I change up my lip products a lot, but these four are just the ones I noticed I was grabbing a lot or just like slapped on really quickly. But before I even get into these products, I do want to show you guys um, what I was using on my lips today before you ask because I know someone's going to ask anyways. So I was actually using these two products here. This one isn't part of the favorites, but I've been using it a lot lately. So I don't know if I should slip this into my favorites, but maybe at the end of the year, this might be my favorite. Anyways, this one right here is VDL's um, Rouge Supreme in 604 Verona. So basically this right here, it looks very similar to my other lip products. I have a lot of the same colors because I'm drawn to the same kind of tones when it comes to lipstick, like pinky, muted, but rosy or really red. So anyways, this color right here is like almost like a rose, dusky rose color. And I put it all over my lips. It's fairly pinky. And then on top, I put on a little bit of this guy. This guy is one of my favorites, so I will talk about this first. This one is the VDL Glim and Glow Luster Brilliant Liquid Lipstick, basically. I think it's liquid lipstick, and this is in the color Sunshine Cherry. I can't read it. It's like really like fine print. This is like a liquid lipstick kind of. It's like almost like a lip gloss slash liquid lipstick. It doesn't stain as much as a liquid lipstick and the staining power isn't great but it's mostly like a gloss but it does stain a little bit. It's hard to describe this thing but I do love it and the color payoff is great. That's why I don't really want to call it a lip gloss because it does have so much color but I really love this. Um, not drying at all. Um, similar thing to that is this guy right here this guy is from Reray, and you guys saw me talk about this in one of my yes style videos um this is l03 and this is one of their like little matte sticks where you kind of just dab it on and the color is like super matte but it's not drying and the color payoff is great i really love this as well it's a super nice ruby red these colors are very similar but this is slightly darker and the, i like this because this one's super quick you just pop it on and it makes your lips look more shiny but this one if you just need quick color and you just like don't even need a mirror you just pop it on the middle and just and then literally go it's super nice super nice i really like it then the next two right here this one is max velvet teddy this is one of my favorite pinky nudes looks very similar to all the other lipsticks i have again but this one honestly does look different and just watch it it is like a matte finish almost and this one is the re -ray Reway one. I can't remember the name of this product. This is the color next to it. And then you have this liquid lipstick or lip gloss basically. So they're very similar in color, but this one is more bright. This is more darker toned down kind of. So this is my last favorite. This is the Dear Dahlia lipstick. This is in the color Megan 808. Um, this is the Intense Satin Lip Paradise lipstick. So it looks very similar to all the other ones, but if I swatch it, it's gonna look different. So, so this is L Megan from Lip Paradise. This one is the Velvet Teddy from MAC. This one is Reray, and this one is the VDL Glim and Glow Brilliance Liquid Lipstick thingy. And then obviously this one is the one that I was wearing today. This is the Rouge Supreme 604 Verona. And if I put it beside, it's gonna look different again, but very, very similar. So if you look here, the Dear Dahlia looks similar to the VDL um, Supreme Verona lipsticks, or is it Vernona? I can't remember anymore. Verona. <laughs> I'm getting confused already. But if you can see, this is my lip color palette. It looks very, very similar to each other. They're in the same family, but they're all different shades. So, and they're different textures and different formulas. So I really do love these guys. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I gotta move on because I've been talking about lipstick for too long. All right, so the next favorite I have here is this 
right here. It's not exactly just the 3DS. And I know I still play on my 3DS and I still play on my Vita and stuff like that. But it's actually the game that's on the v 3DS. Oh my god, I can't say anything. It's actually the game on the 3DS. So the game that I was actually playing a lot of that I rediscovered. I know I had this game. My friend bought this for me. When did she buy it for me? Like... 2017 i can't remember but it is harvest moon a new beginning so i've been playing this like crazy um if you guys haven't played harvest moon anymore i recommend that you try it if you can like on the computer or through an old console um but i know you can play it through an emulator so i highly recommend you play it through an emulator if you're into like dating sims and like creating relationships with like the um townspeople and like farming and foraging and mining and like kind of like those kinds of games kind of like um kind of like stardew valley basically stardew valley is based off of harvest moon anyways so yeah um i highly recommend you try this out you play as a boy character or a girl character and then you have to go over go for either a boy or a girl character it has to be opposite of each other i'm not sure why you can't go for the other ones anyways old game design but yeah it's really really fun and the characters in here are super funny and they each are kind of like unique like they're very like stereotyped like you know how each of the bachelors or bachelorettes is very stereotyping character like one is like super cold and then one is like super like braggy and like the one i'm going after right now is like the super cocky like braggy type and that's totally not my type but he's like the best looking character out of the whole game right now so that's why i kind of went for him i'm not sure i kind of regret my decision but then still it's like the scenes are really cute and stuff like that and like anyways i'm not want to spoil the game so anyways and that's another favorite that i had for this year so far and i do have a lot of music favorites but i don't want to waste your guys time by me just sitting on my phone and like going through like my whole entire spotify and like being like i like this song i like this song and this song so what i'm gonna do is after this i'm going to just like list like a whole bunch of my favorites it will be on the screen so you guys can see and everything like that it'll be much easier than me going like this 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 and explaining everything um if you guys are interested in my favorites then you can just watch it um but if you guys don't aren't interested you can skip it Alright, so after that list, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in my comment section down below. And if there's anything relevant, like link-wise or anything, I will link it down in my description box, as always. And I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!